Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. Um, so I'm going to present something called the Latin American and Caribbean Initiative for Sustainable Development, or ILAC for short. I just have to... Um, ILAC is... Um, could we go back one slide? Sorry, I'm not sure how to do it on this computer. Previous, got it. No, no. Um, ILAC is a regional strategy on sustainable development that was adopted by the Forum of Environment Ministers from Latin America and the Caribbean in the margins of the Earth Summit in Johannesburg. So it's organized around seven priority areas. It's a framework of goals and, and priorities, um, quite comprehensive. So it covers sustainable development, not just environment. And one of the purposes of ILAC is to link some of the different uh, areas of sustainable development, uh, economic, social, and environmental um, issues, um, and it, which is particularly important if we're looking at uh, integrated assessment uh, using the DIPSA framework, which Patrick mentioned earlier. Um, ILAC has a working group on environmental indicators, which was established by the Forum of, Envir of Environment Ministers, and it includes 28 of the 33 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, many of which are represented both through the environment ministries, the officials re are responsible for environmental information, and the national statistical offices, which can be quite key in providing the official information to support different ministries in the government, such as the planning and the finance ministries. So we focus very much on supporting this partnership between environment and statistics. Um, this group is chaired by Mexico, Samanat, um, uh, they've developed 47 core ILAC indicators, but that uh, number is changing all the time. And normally what happens is that uh, governments put forward indicators that they're working on to try and develop standard regional methodologies. So in terms of objectives for this working group, number one, to keep track of the regional progress on sustainable development. Number two, to um, increase the coherence between the environmental information in different countries of the region. And number three, to promote regional and south-south cooperation. Um, this network uh, uh, can be important for capacity building and maybe I'd encourage uh, the CMA2 project also to consider whether, whether it's possible to link up with this group um, just because of the, the different officials in the government that it includes. Uh, one um, capacity building activity we did recently, for instance, was in partnership with the Latin American Development Bank, or CAF, the Spanish Mapping Agency and the Pan American Institute of Geography and History which delivered a training course online um, on uh, web map services, cloud computing, and uh, GIS. Um, this group has also been requested to support the forum in an upcoming revision of ILAC. So in a similar way to what's happening with the Sustainable Development Goals process, the idea is to um, select goals and targets that can actually be monitored using the statistical information that's available. So in a similar way, we want a good dialogue between the policymakers from the environment ministries and the information and statistical community to um, develop indicators that are based on the policy priorities and supporting them, but can also be measured in practice. Um, just to mention, a number of indicators exist, that exist already on the marine environment, very limited number. Some of them are Millennium Development Goal indicators, such as uh, proportion of marine and terrestrial areas protected. Um, some of them, I mean, it's a political process, so there are different views about salination, for instance, but, uh, but uh, um, all of these are priorities for at least uh, some of the countries. Um, finally, um, this was actually the title of my presentation in the agenda, to mention some work we've been doing with the, with the Caribbean Small Island Developing States. Um, we had a meeting of the ILAC group in November last year, and actually a side meeting of the Caribbean SIDS. And um, um, uh, I mean, we, we're, we have a role in UNEP as implementing agency of the Global Environment Facility Portfolio on Cross-Cutting Capacity Building. And, um, one of the goals of this portfolio is to increase the, the coordinated management of different sources of environment information that exist in countries. Um, uh, we've had a, number, a couple of requests from St. Lucia, Haiti, and other countries in the Caribbean to support work on this topic. 
for instance, in St. Lucia, we're developing a national environment. We're, we're supporting the government actually in developing a national environmental information system and had an inception meeting of about 30 of the different government ministries that are providing different pieces of this information. Uh, Haiti is also another project that's moving forward. Um, one of the key products under that is actually a national marine atlas as the first national prote uh, protected area, marine protected area, was established uh, last year. Um, so they're looking uh, for a good product to support that, that network in the future. Um, we've tried to take forward a Caribbean project. We've, we've had good support from the Caribbean uh, national focal points. Um, we've submitted that to Jeff. Um, we're struggling a little bit to obtain uh, letters from the national environmental, um, the, nat the Jeff operational focal points, sorry, in the, in the Caribbean country. So if you're keen on this project in your country and uh, can approach them, I think that would be extremely useful. But there are three main areas for that. One is to manage a core set of environmental indicators. Um, second is to present and use this information for decision making. And third is capacity building, institutional and, uh, and um, individual as well. And the idea is to link this with core processes such as the regional statistical work program. Uh, thanks very much. Maybe just to, I, I think my time's run out, but mention one thing uh, about ILAC. Um, there is no formal reporting. Um, there is no formal, um, there is no website for, for ILAC that we've developed. It's solely linked with government, national information and statistics uh, programs. Um, so uh, um, we, we are doing a regional report. A, a number of the countries have done national reports. For instance, Colombia and Mexico this year actually produced their own ILAC reports. Um, we're trying to do a regional report, um, but we're exclusively basing this on existing data sources. We've been doing a mapping with the University of Costa Rica rather than trying to collect uh, new information. Thanks very much. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you.